Hi, and welcome back to the Watch Report powered by Watchbox. I'm your host, Zach Rego, and today we're going to cover some recent news in the watch industry. Basel World 2019 is upon us, and here are just a few of the new releases seen at this year's show. Rolex released the Batman on a Jubilee, a two-tone Sea Dweller, a black Yachtmaster 42 on an Oyster Flex, a new line of Day Day 36s, including one nicknamed the Green Ombre, and a new white gold Pepsi with a meteorite dial that will have your jaw dropping. They will be available in 2019, but only if you have already cut off one of your arms or legs and given it to your local AD as a deposit. Patek Philippe unveiled the 5212A with their first weekly calendar complication, a 5520P alarm travel time, which has so many knobs I assume one turns on the microwave, a khaki green 5168G Aquanaut, a 5726-1A with a blue dial, and a 41mm 5172G, which will replace the recently discontinued 5170. Tudor showed us the new Black Bay Bronze, a two-tone Black Bay Chrono, a Black Bay P01 with a very unique design, and a new two-tone Black Bay 32, 36, and 34, which is a good replacement for the two-tone Sea Dweller if you haven't done one million in business with your local AD. Breitling released a 1959 re-edition Navitimer, a Norton Motorcycle Premier B01 Chrono, and a new line of Super Ocean Divers that may just show that Breitling is coming back strong. Tag Heuer put out a new Altavia collection, Grand Seiko showed the new Spring Drive Thin Dress series, and Bell & Ross presented a BR03-92 in matte khaki ceramic that will make you want to get in a fighter jet and do barrel rolls at 3G. H. Moser released the simple yet complicated Endeavor Concept Minute Repeater Turbion, and Grubel Forzi made a watch that has not one, not two, not three, but four turbions. We still have a few days left in the show, and there are definitely a few more new watches still left to be seen. If you aren't lucky enough to be there in person for the show, I would like to formally invite you to Brian Godberg's house for the final few days viewing party that he will be hosting. Here is the address, and make sure not to text or call him about the party, since it is a big surprise. Just come around the back, and I will let you in. And if for some reason you can't make it to Brian's house, make sure to check out Tim Masso's content about the new Basel World releases. Congratulations to last week's contest winner Andres Gutierrez for being the first to correctly guess the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean, reference 232.30.38.20.04.001 that I was wearing in last week's episode. The first person to comment the correct brand and reference of the watch I am wearing this week will be getting some free watch swag sent their way. I'm Zach Rego, and this has been The Watch Report. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to click the bell for the latest updates in watch content. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.